COVID-19 has had a heavy impact on the results. Uh, the refining uh, the refining margins have been heavily impacted by uh, global uh, oversupply in uh, in uh, oil markets. Uh, we've seen our Australian volumes uh, down 14% in the half, driven heavily by aviation uh, uh, aviation fuel demand destruction and retail fuel demand destruction has also played a, a heavy role, especially in the second quarter. Look, our expectation is we're going to continue to see ongoing uh, uncertainty and volatility as. Um, as COVID plays uh, plays out, uh, we're well positioned in terms of uh, having a very strong balance sheet uh, and liquidity position, uh, and ensuring that we maintain our our focus on capital discipline and uh, and cost efficiencies. Now, I have to say, you're not the only firm that believes in your own firm's um, balance sheet. When it does come to Alimentional Kushtar, now back when COVID was, I suppose, at its peak, they pulled out of the running when it did come to that bid process. But we've seen Marathon and 7-Eleven close a deal. Have you had any further discussions with Kushtar about perhaps kicking the tyres yet again and whether or not you'd be open to them coming back with a bid? Oh, no, no, we haven't. Uh, what we're focused on is uh, managing our way through uh, significant uh, uncertainty and volatility through COVID. Um, clearly, uh, as I mentioned earlier, it has had some significant impacts on the business. And what we're focused on is ensuring that we're taking the right steps to um, be disciplined about the allocation of our capital, to unlock and create value for our shareholders, uh, and uh, to ensure that uh, we're... we're uh, delivering the Ampol rebrand, bringing back an iconic Australian brand into uh, into the fuel market here um, to ensure we're creating uh, creating value for customers. And Matthew Rosanna joining the conversation from Singapore here. Some of the markets today suggesting that your higher than forecast fixed cost base at the refinery might have been one of the key downward pressures on this earnings result. How big an impact did this have? So look, uh, I think when you uh, when you see the sorts of demand destruction that we saw through the uh, through the first half, so as I mentioned, aviation volumes off uh, very heavily. Overall, Australian fuel demand uh, down 14%, retail demand down uh, nearly 18%. Clearly, the, uh, the the fixed cost base um, is a is a challenge uh, to make sure that you're addressing that fixed cost base and taking the actions necessary um, to uh, to offset the impact of that demand destruction. We have taken out um, cost in the order of uh, a bit over ten million dollars a month, and we continue to focus on ensuring that uh, we're being very disciplined about our capital spend and our operating cost base to offset the demand impacts that we're seeing.